welcome back in today's video i am going to show you our upgraded version of freeze portal version 2 which have admin and staff login so in our google sheet login sheet we have a user names the admin and the user admin represent the principal and user represent the staff okay so we just copy our username and password and paste it here in admin section so when i click on this sign in so you will see i am successfully logged as a admin so what the features in this web application we have i will show you i will explain you all step by step first of all we have a login and logout functionality so you can see here when i press on this logout i am successfully log out from my portal and i am enter again to my login so you can see here after that we have a role based access we have a role based access admin and user which, which will we see later on okay so before that we will uh, check out all of these features step by step what is the student search student data so in our google sheet we have a student data in student data we have a st uh, student id and in against our student id we have some basic uh, data about our student the session the student name the father name the institute name the trade and the total fees so what happened if i want to submit the student fee of s003 i can enter manually here the all the data but for your easiness don't need to type data again and again we enter the search id functionality and we enter our id and click on the search icon so when we click on the search item icon you can able to see the student id the two days date the two days month and the session we will select from the drop down and the transaction id is that only we receive when a student fee and we will get a bank transaction id so you can enter it manually here and uh, here's you can also add your trade and uh, your paid amount who what is what is the paid amount like 1500 is your paid amount okay so you can also check uh, its total amount is total fee is 70000 so you can uh, enter the 70000 here and so you can see here 7000 what's the fee ta? the tuition fee and what's the cash uh, payment mode is cash card online check so you can just simply click on this receipt okay so when you click on this receipt and again you when, when you will search this uh, account data uh, student data and enter the transaction id and select the section and paste your the fees here 70000 and uh, 70000 and click on this tuition uh, last time what your fees paid uh, you will see here the tuition and the cash so when you click on the tuition and the cash and click on this save receipt so when you click on the save receipt, you will get a error submission error because error for this month fab is already paid so this is a system you can't able to submit fees again for a single student for a single month and when you click on this old records so now you can able to see the payment history for this student and when you click on this get you will your data will be fetched in your transaction receipts and here you can also update uh, if he or pay you online and you click on this update receipt so when you click on this update receipt it will be changed from cash to online here okay so this is our old records and slip functionality with the student search id now thus um, manage students so what happened if you want to manage or add basic student data in your database so you can enter from here manually also you can update from here easily okay so if you want to update the fees and the session is 2025 2027 and the fees you want to change to 1500 and click on this update student so when you click on this update student so now you can see here the student fee is successfully updated what happened if you want to add a new student you can simply enter a new id and select the session and select the trade and enter the student name and uh, father name and the uh, institution name and the total fees is 5000 and click on this add a student when you click on this add a student your student will be added and if you want to search the particular student you can also apply the search filters here okay 
So if you want to delete a particular student, you can simply click on this delete icon and click on yes, delete. So now you can see here ID S005 is successfully deleted from our database. Okay. So this is our system. So in the meantime, we have added, uh, we have added the S006. So we can simply add it S006 and click on this search icon. So now you can see here the data is successfully fetched here and also the session is successfully fetched here. So uh, if you want to down, uh, if you want to, for example, the transaction ID and the fees amount is 1500 and the fees is library and the card payment and click on this save receipt so when you click on this save receipt so your data is successfully been saved and if you want to make a print for example we uh, search our old records and click on this get and when we click on this get and we want to make a download pdf so you can simply make a pdf your pdf will be downloaded slip like that okay so this is your slip payment slip and you will see the download pdf option and the manage students now we will go to analytics so this is our analytics we have total five students what students uh, we have you will see the total five students here and from our five students three students is paid how it will be calculated so now you can see here in our fees we have three ids so it will be paid successfully uh, and two unpaid so you can also analyze the paid students the paid fees fees which is what is the fees the total pay unpaid fees is 81500 okay so how is the total fees calculated so the sum of uh, this total fees uh, is the total uh, unpaid fees from here and the total paid fees means i want to say that uh, the sum of this is the total fees and how much from this is paid and how much from this amount is not paid for example if we have uh, the sum of this 100 so if we pay 20 uh, the 20 uh, rs is only paid the 20 dollars is only paid it will show the 20 and it will show the remaining 80 so the total five students here and also the total three students here and the unpaid students is this okay so this is a bar chart fees paid by date so on which date we have a maximum amount of fees collection you can easily track and line chart fee trend means k uh, on which date you have uh, again the same functionality on which date you will receive the maximum chart on which date you will less so it will the line chart flow so this is a pie chart you will see the paid versus unpaid fees so the total amount is that and 81500 is unpaid now 11500 is only paid yet okay so if you want to make a filter you can just january so you can now see here the january total paid fees is 1500 and the total unpaid phase is is this and total students is this and only paid one students and unpaid is this so what happened if you want to apply a one more filter only exam so now you can see here on the exam so what happened if you want to apply a library so now you can see here no one library fund is received and again all tuition fees and which mode you want to filter so now you can see here after you click on this back to sleep you are able to print your slip so we are log out from here and now we are going to our staff side so when i enter my staff login details and click on this sign in button so you get able to see i am successfully logged as a staff member so now i can simply search uh, my student data I, I can simply search the student id and you will see and i enter my this data and uh, the fees amount for the month of the march and uh, again the 1500 and the student i have a tuition and cash and click on the save receipt so i so i am able to save receipt of the student and check the old records as a staff member and only download the video these are the basic functionalities which is on our v1 uh, version in our last video so that functionality is available only in this staff side so uh, when you click on this logout, so you are being successfully logged out. Hope you like this video. You like this fee management system. If you want to improve this system, you can suggest your improvements in below the comment section because below the comment section is always open for you. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon and press the like button so you will be get notified as soon as possible when I upload the any kind of video on my channel. So be with me be with me be unite we are a community and we will build something great one day okay take care